right, what's your name? And um, give me a favorite food you like that represents your culture. Ooh. Okay. Um, my name is Cassie. And uh, favorite food. Gosh, that's so hard. Um, it's a loaded question. It is a loaded question. <laughs> okay. I think one of my favorite foods is a chicken curry that my mom makes very often and it's um, very sort of traditional in the part of India that I come from. Okay. Yep. All right. So um, what is a memory you have um, about food eating with your family, friends, holidays? Wow. Um, so I grew up in Dubai. I was born in India and um, we have um, parties in our family and I that's probably like the highlight of my childhood we'd have birthday parties and they'd start typically on a Friday right okay. and sometimes they'd go through on a Saturday okay. <laughs> and there was food throughout the entire thing I mean um, food when you got there food for dinner there was dessert there was late night snacks people would play cards that still be food in the morning so <laughs> Now you're gonna have to invite me to a party now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so what is your definition of um of healthy food or a healthy eating? Wow. Um I think that um healthy food to me is um food that if I can have the time to prepare it, that I prepare it. It's grown sustainably. Um it's prepared um as healthfully as possible. It's eaten in moderation. It's eaten with family. Um, and my definition of family is, is large. Um, and there's conversation. And you take the time to sort of enjoy each other. And food is just sort of the vehicle for that. OK. Um, so where do you um, get your food? You, you shop? Where do you shop for it? You know, people. some people get examples, community garden, school, you know, yeah. food shelf. Um, I am blessed that I can shop at a variety of different places. So I'll get um, some of my produce at the Friendship Store. I live in South Minneapolis. I get some of it at Cobb. I get some of it at Target. Um, I sometimes will shop at United Noodles or the Indian Grocery Store when I want traditional groceries for the type of cooking that I do. It just sort of depends. In the summer, I will. Um, uh, a friend of mine has a, a farm, and I'll get vegetables from him as well. And how would you use food to bring people together? Ooh, um, I think anytime that there's food and you ask people to come and conversate, they're going to show up. So, um, you know, having um, always have food in an event because um, we want to do more than just sit there and look at each other's faces and talk. I mean, we want to we want to eat and we want to hang out and. You know, um, I think food is just, it's the perfect vehicle to do that. And so, just think of your community and what do you, because I know we're trying to put together a food, food plan, so what do you think that um, a community needs to, so people can come together and eat healthy food? What, what would one of those things be? Um, a, a place to gather. Together. Right. Um, a table would be nice, but not necessary. I'm happy sitting on the ground and eating. Okay. Um, so would it be like a weekly event or something like that? Or? Um, I think weekly is is hard. Um, okay. If you want the same people to show up, but if you want different people to show up, a weekly event would be nice. Um, but something that happens at least once a month. Okay. Um, and that it's broadly advertised, so you're okay. gonna get. Uh, the biggest audience possible um, and you have a variety of different foods because I mean you know um, you want to try to um, get the biggest audience and that would mean having just a different types of food and it doesn't have to be fussy or you know complicated I just think um, people knowing that you appreciate them being there in their time okay. so all right, so could you tell me your name one more time? Yep. My name is Cassandra Silvera. Okay. Thank you so much.